recorded. And welcome everyone to our leadership meeting this week. I know it's been a while since it seems like we've talked to each other or even seen each other, um, but there's a lot of things happening and making sure our timings um, are working. So welcome everybody. We were just recapping on some of the great and amazing things that our leadership um, team is doing um, because we've got tickets to win. We've got a trip to win. We've got $20 bonus checks to earn and an extra 3% in commission that Avon is giving us off of everyone that joins our team on top of the commission that they pay us. So there's a ton of money out there right now and we want to make sure that you guys cash in on all of it. And so that's why we're getting together today. Um, before we kind of dive into the meat of our stuff, there were some things I wanted to get some feedback um, from you guys on. Emily, I know I already talked to you kind of about this a little bit because I wanted some feedback. I know we've got a lot of things happening during the day and then sometimes at night a little bit. And, you know, from our sales meetings this past month, you know, I had every representative stand up, you know, introduce themselves that they were on the recognition sheet, they told the recognition. And then I had them tell us, um, something that they wanted to accomplish in 2017. So still reliving those goals and dreams that we, we set in January, but hopefully we still keep them um, going throughout the year. And I'm going to tell you what, so many of our representatives said, you know, I want to, I want to start my team or I want to make my team bigger. And then I look back and think of our leadership calls, you know, that's something easy to stay connected with. And these people weren't on because they work full time. I know I have a lot of people that replay our meetings and all that stuff, but you know, I did some of my own recon research. Um, if you stay connected with the other direct selling companies of friends or people that you know, um, they were doing a lot of their meetings at like nine, nine thirty at night, and I was like, why aren't we trying that? So my proposal for you guys, instead of doing them at noon, and I know sometimes times work better for others than most, but you know, if we can hit the majority of our people or even our new representatives, you know, nighttime is a great time. And I called Emily earlier. I was like, what time do you put the kids to bed? Cause I don't know anything about this. <laughs> and I went, That's okay. I'm good. I know what time I, when I put Joe to bed or when he falls asleep on the couch snoring. Um, but that's a different topic. But you know, I was thinking about our next meeting because it's scheduled for March 14th. And I was thinking about maybe doing a time slot at 8.30 or at 9 at night. And I kind of wanted some of your thoughts on that. Or it could be later. We're not doing midnight, though. I'm already asleep. So, any thoughts? Would be good for me, maybe. If 8.30? I, I mean, these are only 40-minute meetings. So, I mean, it's not like we're going to go into the night or anything like that. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe we can have some moms that maybe put their kids to bed or they've worked full time so we can get more people on masses because that's what this is really about is reaching your people, even your new leadership representatives too. Um, so I heard 830. We're good with 830? Anybody? I like it like it is. Ray wants to keep it like it is. <laughs> yeah, because see, I've got my team meeting at 8, that I'm moving to 8, so I'm tied up Tuesdays? already. Mm-hmm. And it's Ever at eight? eight? Yep. So is yours 45 minutes? Do you have the free Zoom or do you have the cost Zoom? Um, mine is mine and it's an hour. It's an hour? So if I made this at nine, would we be good? Nope. No? Nope, because I'll be in bed. <laughs> Well, I, I, see, I did the same thing that you're doing. I did with my team and asked and said, hey, because we were having ours at 7 o'clock. Right. And I'm in the same boat you are. Some people can't get on. And I've got more people in the Midwest. Right. Coming on. And I want to make it where, you know, they can come home and eat dinner and then hop on. So okay. that was their vote to do eight. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you can do two. No, we're, we're just going to try it out. Let's okay. see, let's see what happens. We got to try something, you know, and I also highly encourage you guys, if something's not working or you're not getting the response you want, change it. Okay. Come up with something new. Let's, let's keep what we're doing out there and fresh. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put our March 14th meeting. I'm going to put it at 830. Okay. And we're going to see what happens. If it doesn't work, we'll go back to noon. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, so we'll just do that. Next thing is, is, um, I'm going to be on vacation next week. Oh, yay. Good for you. Okay. Sorry, that's my happy dance, um, which is also bad timing because we update. Um, so I've got to do a lot of pre-work. We had 1385 orders go in um, on that Sunday, and I start vacation on that Saturday. Um, so that was not well planned out, Lane. Good job. But um, we have a lot of people coming on, and I was going to use this Thursday as an opportunity to do their, like, a live 
Facebook um, party that is set up to where you as the representative can share it on your Facebook and I'm targeting your customers, so not you. So you can share it that way or I was looking at Thursday doing an opportunity for a new representative training because we've had a lot of new people join. So you guys choose, do we do a live Facebook targeting your customers or do I do a new representative training with your people? Facebook okay. party. Facebook party. Emily, what were you going to say? I was just going to say specifically for my team, I have a lot of new people in campaign six, but I can certainly do a new representative training for my own team. So. Okay. Or you could say Lane, you know, just do both and we'll see how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You know, um, we could take a look at that. And honestly, you guys, um, maybe Thursday I could do the Facebook live and then maybe, um, sometime during the day Friday, I could do a new representative one maybe. So uh, we can take a look at that. I just don't know if I'm going to have time for both. So I'll have to fix. So I've got votes for both. Okay. Um, also new stuff that's coming out. Um, I've been busy yesterday. A group of us district sales managers got together and I sent out 158 Avon brochures to remove representatives in North Carolina and South Carolina for campaign seven. You're welcome. Hey. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Um, also today, inactive representatives five and four inactive representatives are also getting a campaign six Avon brochure in the mail. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, and also in campaign eight, the other half of those removal representatives that did not get a book in campaign seven will get it in campaign eight. Okay. So we've got anybody that's been with us in the last year taken care of. Check that off your list. So we need to focus on our new people. Okay. And that's kind of where I wanted to take you guys today. It's all about the new blood, our old connections. I'm pretty sure each and every single one of us has exhausted them. So it's all about the new people that we haven't contacted yet. So if, since we're going out with the old in with the new, that also brings up the topic of downline manager has retired today. So rest in peace. Now we're all on vibe. Okay. <laughs> so you guys have a vibe training. I believe there's one tomorrow at 1 PM. And I think there is another one on Thursday in the evening. Don't, bank on that it's in your representative news that came out on monday so anybody that hasn't been on there or your teams check it out it's a training it will teach you everything there's a q a afterwards um, i know everyone on here has been using the vibe but you might want to reach out to any of your team members that haven't been on that yet that's going to be a huge piece of information um, also speaking with out with the old and with the new red fest has over four thousand people registered and we're still in the early $99 registration. So Ms. Linda Parker, I know you have registered. Ms. Renee, I know you have registered. Rhonda, I am pretty sure you've registered. I don't know about Emily and Charlene. I don't know about anybody else that's checked this call, but this is something that you want to get to. I have a feeling we are going to be selling out before the 99 registration is over with, um, which is at the end of March. So communicate with your teams and grab a buddy take the family. It is over the weekend. We have not came out with the training classes yet, but you can choose for an a la carte package and then you can go have fun with the family in the afternoon. Um, you can kind of make it a weekend event. So if your team hasn't checked that out, definitely do that. Plus Avon wants to hear from you guys. We had Susie Orman last year. Who would you like to hear from? You can hashtag Avon Repfest. Um, and tell them what your pick is. So I don't think anybody gets any better than Susie Orman. I cried um, last year, but we won't go. We won't go there on that. So we are also going to cover out with the old and with the new. How many of you guys are keeping track of your new representatives and they're tracking for the thousand dollars in ninety days? How is that going, or is it going? No. <laughs> Honesty is good. I love honesty. Does anybody, is anyone having any success with helping them track or has maybe a system to connect with them every campaign? Or maybe they had an idea and they were fixing to get ready to do it maybe. Um, because getting our people with that thousand dollars in 90 days is not going to just make them successful, but you successful because you're getting that extra commission now. Any ideas that anybody wants to share on that? All I've been doing, Lena, since you made that wonderful 
um, chart. Thank you so much. Um, I shared that with my team and, I'm, and we go over it every single week on our call. I mean, kind of like this. It's like, okay, this is where so-and-so is and this is where so-and-so is. And if they're, they happen to not be on the call for whatever reason, then I make it a point on, um, you know, Wednesday or Thursday to put in a phone call to them and say, hey, um, <clears throat> missed you on the call last night. I did record it for you. How are you doing? How are you feeling? You know, is there anything I can do for you? It's basically just keeping that line of communication open. Right. And the one thing I've noticed with all of my reps is they absolutely love the fact that somebody cares about them, you know, and calls them and checks on them or sends them a quick text, you know, even that just going, hey, just want to make sure your thing's still going okay. Can I do anything for you? You know, right. boom, done. Right. And I'm trying to find, oh, I think I put it in a file. Hang on. I organized myself and I have been, <laughs> hang on. I organized myself and I can't find anything. Okay. Here's our Bahamas. Hang on. I did this somewhere. Maybe I put it with new represent. You guys, how many of you have done this? You organize yourself and then you can't find anything. So it's okay. right there. Yes. It's right here. Okay. Yep. Um, so yep. this Yes, this is what Renee is talking about, this little calculator, because we had a great little um, working session together and had an aha moment. And I thought that the calculator that was given to the representatives on their start page, you could enter things in and it would add up and it did not do that. So um, this was a great aha moment to use for them. And you can really personalize each one of these um, and title it and save it and send it to them after you have a conversation for, you know, this is um, Susie's, you know, thousand dollars in 90 days, you know, so she can actually keep track herself. Um, and you can also keep track too with it. Um, because if we don't help them and show them how to do it, they might forget. Um, and you know, we, we, it's our jobs to mentor them and keep them on track with this. So she may not have, she may have missed a step in there or she may be hitting every target. The only thing that she needs is her recruits. Well, that's a growing opportunity for you guys right there. So this is used to help you guys and for her to actually see the money. And we cannot forget about this $200 kicker bonus for them when they hit all of their goals. That is a huge opportunity. And just thinking about them hitting that kicker bonus and earning that extra bonus, think about all the extra 3% that you earned along the way to help them. Okay, that's gonna be a great thing, plus earning off of the next generation. Um, so Renee, thank you um, for bringing that up. If you haven't used this calculator, it's, it's really good. It's a working one, so you'll, everything gets added into it. Um, any other ideas that you are trying to stay connected with your new people because we've got a lot coming on, so we wanna make sure that we're staying connected with them. Lane, can you send us, or did you already send us that file? I sent it with your last leadership update, but I'm gonna send it again. Oh look, okay. Yes. So absolutely, so that's a great little um, tool for us to be um, using with that. So feel free to share it with your teams and you can keep saving them. So you can use it for a new person too as well. Um, something that you know I know I've been focused on is just trying to call them. Um, I don't get a lot of response with that because you know who who's this girl calling? But I've been doing a lot of reach out with Facebook and invit inviting them to join our page and things like that. Um, and that's something that's been working for me is just sending them a quick message on Facebook, seeing how it's going. And that's been opening the door for a lot of conversation um, versus me just calling them out of the blue. Uh, if you were at our South Carolina meeting, you heard about a really odd phone call I had with someone. And um, I felt like she did not want to call me, but she already had two recruits and she had her first order. It was like over $300 and she did not want to talk to me and I couldn't figure out why. And I thought I was like, well, God, that phone call didn't go well. And apparently she hadn't told her husband. Her husband was sitting right there. So it was a little bit odd. So you never know what this scenario is, too. So um, just wanted to share some different ideas that you guys might be staying connected with your people. Okay, because that's a lot happening. Also, we have got some earners with some scratcher tickets and some really great um, successes, too. Um, Emily, you are on. If you would love to share first, you had an amazing success with your scratcher, and I'm going to pull up your Facebook page. And I did try to find the best still photo of you that I could on this. So will you tell us a little bit more about what happened with this? Those still photos are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Well, my faithful um, upline leader came over and helped me with my video. It was kind of a for the moment thing, and I think sometimes those work out the best because you don't have to give yourself time to get nervous. Um, I just I briefly started by introducing the campaign six brochure and a couple showed um, a couple of my favorite things a necklace and a mascara just as people were starting to get on. You don't want to give them the goods right up front because then they won't finish uh, the video. So I was just um, introducing a little bit. And then, of course, I talked about how I earned the Scott Doc ticket, um, how they can join Avon, um, what they get for joining Avon. And then I, of course, did the scratch off. And um, I've had an enormous amount of views and shares and comments. Um, and I had a my son's special friend <laughs> was on and she commented and tagged her mom and said, Mom, I want this necklace. Mom, you should join Avon. And sure enough, two or three days later, um, her mom joined Avon <laughs> and is helping save money for her college. So um, you just never know who it's going to reach, um, who's going to tag someone in it, um, or what seed it's going to plant um, to grow your team. Absolutely. And Emily, that is amazing. And Facebook is one of the best ways um, to connect with people, especially with Facebook Live. And I know so many of us get a little bit scared about it because what if the reception isn't great? Um, what if they're not, I don't get any feedback from it because I'm kind of putting myself out there a little bit. Um, what if I get shut down? But what if you don't? Right. What if you don't? What if something cool happens? And sometimes we profile, we all do it, we all profile, you know, who we want to talk to. Well, why not open it to everybody and share, okay? And that's what Emily did, and, you know, her feedback and the success she had, I don't even think you were expecting that. Um, you were just trying to share what was happening, what was going on, and kind of celebrating a little bit. And you're enjoying your $25 gift card in town and country, which is even cooler. So, yeah, so every ticket is a win. So, Emily, I want to thank you for sharing that, too. I've also got another representative that did something kind of outside the box just a little bit. I got to move your faces here a little bit. Um, and this is Judy and Judy is not on with this. I know she had an appointment and she canceled. So she was out tossing brochures. Um, but Judy does a ton of stuff on her Facebook page and she just has one page. So everything is on one page, whether she's posting something about her dogs or it's about Avon. Um, and she kind of just threw something out there one night and she said, giving away an Avon starter kit. So here's the disclosure in that. We don't ever give away a starter kit, um, but you can tweak that to whatever you want that to be. I just thought that her response was really amazing on this. She said, totally random, pick a number, three through 39. When I get up tomorrow, I will take a look. The first three numbers that were submitted in the comments in the countdown, she'll count down from it. If you know that person personally and they wanna do it, they, basically what she was doing is they were, she's going to give someone opportunity to start Avon and see who is interested in this. Look at her comments that she got from this. So her first three numbers was 11, 3, 13. So that, those are going to be the people she's counting down to see who might be interested. So she's gotten all of these replies back, and she actually had the three people she reached out to. She said, congratulations, you know, you're, you're the winner of a $25 starter kit. Um, she gave them the opportunity to take the 50 or the 100 to get them started. And actually, two of them took the $100 kit. They all showed up at her house to get started. Um, and they've all met with her again um, as a follow-up. So she's having a really good success with it. Now, if you're not into, you know, just throwing something out there and seeing what your feedback might be and opening it up to everyone, as Emily and Judy did, might be your next step. So because they really did put themselves out there in hopes of getting something back and it worked for them. So taking a look at yourself and your business, you know, what was the last time you put yourself out there and open the opportunity to everybody. So when you put your posts out there, the difference between just sharing something from maybe your social media page um, and doing what these two ladies did is they put a piece of themselves out there. They gave people some bait and they took it, which was really cool. So does any ideas or anything crazy spark when I, we share these ideas with you guys? Any aha moments? <laughs> Nobody wants to try Facebook Live now? 
<laughs> oh, I know we're up to it. Well, it's not as scary as you guys seem. It just, it's a conversation. And that's the cool part is pe you can see people commenting as you're doing stuff. Um, it's just a conversation. So, but it's like you're talking to a group of people versus one person individually at a time. So I'm sharing this with you because not only can our social media center and your e-store help you with the posts that you make on Facebook, um, but it can also reach out to different people by giving them content and information. Um, so I wanted to share those successes with you guys because that was really, really cool. Um, any other ideas that anybody had that they're going to use to promote their business that maybe they are fixing to get ready to do or have thought about but haven't done it yet or any other successes? We've just been setting up coffee appointments and trying to encourage and just share the opportunity with our new people. That's been working for me pretty well. Charlene is the meat and coffee queen. So, <laughs> Charlene, who have you been meeting? Is it just new representatives? Mostly new, yeah. I, I've chosen a couple of the older, you know, ones that have been with me for a while um, just to reach out and see if they've ever thought about coming back to leadership, things like that. Absolutely. Yeah. But the new people especially, they really like to know they're connected to somebody. And it's, it can be very profitable. I'm getting a lot of feedback so Good. That's, thing. that's what I always used to do so we're trying to get back to some of the old ways relationships I love it I love it relationships Charlene that is amazing that is amazing and notice everyone's got a different style too so there's no right or wrongs but you know we're on such a roll right now making sure we stay connected to those people plus with all the opportunities um, that Avon is giving them to enhance their business, um, like the new earnings for every dollar. Um, by the way, that was included in the brochures that I sent out to as well, and it said whether they wanted just a discount, whether they wanted to maybe pay it, get their Avon for free, or whether they wanted to actually earn income. We showed them several different earning levels with that. Um, so it can look any type of way as long as you are out there doing it. Any other shares? I don't think so. Miss Linda Parker is out. She shared tons of things that are media on in South Carolina, so I won't pick on her anymore. But also, what, Linda? I twisted my sister and my daughter's arms to get them to join. Yes, you did. And how did that twisting work? It worked pretty good for you, didn't it? It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And sometimes, you know, we have our best customers. This is a great opportunity for us to turn them into representatives and still earn off of them, which is a great thing. Also, this is a great opportunity. Um, with, ooh, we got a new little new earning. Oh, this is what I was going to show you guys. Um, also, with our new people and maybe existing representatives, Avon's got a new look at um, your earnings under my account, earnings and order size. Has anyone taken a look at this yet? It oh. just launched. Oh, my. Okay, so maybe I'm not the best example to show you guys with my orders, but we won't tell anybody, okay? This is a great way to break down what campaign it is, what their order size was, and what their estimated earnings are. So you really can show your new people what they're earning. And you can look at the last three campaigns, and you can look at year to date. And I haven't figured out this last um, 26 campaign ones because it doesn't show me 26 campaigns, but we won't go there. Um, so, you know, just taking an order, um, let's just view campaign five. It wasn't really pretty, but that's fine. Um, it will show you what your earnings were, what your business tools are, and all of that great stuff. So that way you can really break down those earnings um, for your representatives. And it's also a great tool for them to see what they get, especially your new ones, and getting that 40%. So if you haven't played with this tool a little bit, make sure that you do that because this is going to be a great tool for them to use. Any questions on that? Pretty awesome, huh? Oh. Thanks, Avon. Appreciate you. I love it when they're making our business even simpler than they have before. So before we dive into the last part, which is our recognition, I have something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I got these little books from somewhere. Have you ever heard of Jim Rohn? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's actually a pretty intuitive, uh, good-looking older man. Look at that guy. Hey. 
<laughs> um, but he's got a lot of great tips and I've just been kind of reading through these anytime I have like just a moment or I've been waiting on the phone, but I figured, you know, what could I share with you guys? So that way, um, you can kind of take a moment with it. And I read this one this morning and it says, and I thought this was probably a perfect one for it. It says, let people grow and develop is actually the title of it. Okay. It says, now don't expect a pear tree to bear apples. I mean, let people do whatever they can do and let them change their minds. Let them grow and develop. Here's what I found. You cannot change people, but you can change, but they can change themselves. The best you can do is inspire, teach, pray, and hope. That's the best you can do. You can't get in there and change them, but you can do your best to deliver the message that can create change if someone will accept it. If someone will do something about it, then take the early baby steps to get them started. Be happy for the smallest progresses. Give some rewards, a pat on the back, and a big smile, regardless the progress. That's kind of maybe a hard thing to choose, regardless of the process, because sometimes our expectations, and this is what I got from it, might be maybe smaller than what theirs are, or maybe our expectations are bigger than what theirs are. But the cool thing is, is it's about listening and hearing what they say. And if they're excited, we need to be excited. And that sometimes can be hard, right? You're kind of like, oh, you, you got one customer this campaign, but they're excited because they got an order. We need to be excited too for them because, you know, it all starts with those baby steps. No one gets anywhere by these big leaps and bounds. It does take time. So I kind of reflected on this one, and if you guys have any reflections, please, we always love to share. You know, I've been trying to talk to new people, you know, and kind of hearing, because there's so many parts of our business, but, you know, what parts are you interested in learning more about? And that way we can kind of hone in on what they want to talk about versus what I think their next steps are, um, because that might be different for them. Or I also wrote down, what would you like to learn more about today? And that's kind of how I start my new representative trainings out, just to kind of see what they've learned, really, because who knows what they've learned, um, and see where I want to take them. So any thoughts on anybody in my wonderful uh, leadership building book that I have? <laughs> he used, he's got some great CDs, too. He actually used to be in our new representative. That was the CD that he had when our old leadership kits. So hey, right. those, I give them out to a few people. I love, I love his CDs. Yes. And I like the reflection on it a lot. We always can improve ourselves. Right. Anyone else have any other thoughts about letting people grow and develop? That's a very good point. Sometimes I'll meet with a new representative and I've kind of got my three point bullet that I need to go over with them. And, and at the end I do say, you know, what, what questions do you have? But maybe I should start with that. What, what would you like to learn today? What, you know, what, what goals do you have or what um, hurdles do we need to get over? Maybe that's a better opener than a better closer. Maybe a better opener than a closer. Maybe your closers to follow up on everything. So, you know, there's nothing wrong to mix it up a little bit. Emily's got herself a different opener. I love that. So, <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, I won't pick them at anybody. So, let's get into some recognition, right? Right. And I actually did do a little pretty something for y'all today because I'm super proud of you guys. Look at these points. Holy cow, Boss Inc. You were taken at number one with 975 points. I know that she's going to be taking Larry with her, whether Larry wants to go or not. She's going to take him with her. Renee, you are coming in second. You have got 750 points. Charlene Poindexter, I'm jumping back and forth depending on what we got here. You are leading 1385 with 600. Emily Stevens, you've got 450. And I know, right? Yay. If I go back over to 1378, Gail Austin's got 525. Wendy Whipple's got 525. Nancy Buchanan's got 450. Melody Medlin's got 450. And Susie Parker, I think I saw in Rhonda's background a little bit early, has got 375. Oh my gosh, we have got tons of great earners on here too. And it's not done. Linda Parker, you've got 225. And just think with your two new recruits you have. Woo, 
she's going to be joining the fun down in the Bahamas too. And I know you're going to take Thelma with you because you guys are also going to Rep Fest together as well. So, um, <laughs> absolutely. You got to, she's got to kick it into gear. You won't go to low. But guys, this is really getting important because I'm going to say something that might be a little powerful. North Carolina, you're in campaign eight for appointments. South Carolina, you flip over to campaign seven, I believe on Friday, or campaign eight on Friday. Oh, we gotta hurry. Right? Absolutely. Campaign nine is your last opportunity. So keep that focus in. I know we have got a ton of campaign seven and eight appointments, which is amazing, but keep your focus on growing, growing, growing. And the best part is, is don't let up, okay? Because the boss life tickets go through campaign 13. So those are still going. And I have a feeling Avon's going to keep it interesting and make the good tickets for last if they control that at all. I'm not really sure. Um, but Emily, you already shared your scratcher success. You've already gotten one ticket, which is a $25 gift card in town and country. Your second one's on the way. If Charlene could leave the house and go to the mailbox, she thinks she has hers in the mailbox. Amanda Carroll also got a Avon branded water bottle, but she said she's not done. She's got somebody else joining. Wendy Wicklin and Melody Medlin also both have one on the way. So I have not heard of any cash prizes yet given out. I have not heard of the TVs. I haven't heard of any of that. So I think they're just getting warmed up. And I also shared with you guys some recognition because it's not about the tickets. It's not about, well, it kind of is about the ticket. It is kind of about the vacation. But you can't have any of that until you bring people to the team, right, and give them those opportunities. So I did from our last recognition on 215 through the 26th, um, which was Sunday night. In that time period, Emily Stevens, you have got three new team members. Shannon Sharp has got three. Judy LeClerc has two. Miss Linda Parker, you've gotten two. Woo woo. Uh, <laughs> Mindy. Shocker. Shocker. No, it's not. I've always known you can do it. You just needed to hop on board. And then Mindy Mann, she is a brand new representative who has her first recruit. Charlene Poindexter, you've got one, but you had two sign up last night, which is amazing. And right. then Michelle. I got more what? Than one. what, Charlene? That's okay. I just said I think I have more than one, but I don't know when the update was, so it's fine. Well, this was through Sunday night, so I know the two you just had aren't on here. Right. And no, I already put a one next to your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no. Are they just our district or everywhere? This is national appointments from 215 through the 26th, so it's not just the area. We're taking a look at your entire teams, and I have access to that report, so we're taking advantage of all of your efforts of what you guys are doing nationwide. Michelle oh. Sarabal, she's a brand new representative. She's got one. Wendy Wicklin's got one. Teresa Taylor is a new representative with one new one. She's actually got her second one. And Lisa Mays has one. So lots of things are happening with our business, and I am super excited and proud of you guys with tons of stuff happening. So I encourage you for anything that happens, if you get a ticket, you can talk about your points in the Bahamas, you know, get the word out there that's happening with your business. It's not only going to increase your team, but it can also increase your sales too. So last but most important, what do you guys need from me? I have a quick question. Please. Each of my two recruits are in a different district. Do we have to do anything? What do you mean by do we have to do anything? <laughs> no, this won't be like um, Elaine Perry, will it? Because you had to do something to get her put under me because she was. They and Linda, maybe, why don't we call? I call, talk to you after. Let me call you after this. Um, <laughs> Because I think we have a question as far as like your downline stuff, um, which is now live, and we can check that out and stuff. Um, so as far as doing anything, yes, you want to see when their order dates are. You want to connect with them and making sure they've written out their who do you know list, um, and they've got their you know $150 order where it's their, it's their first or their second campaign. Remember, their first campaign, they automatically get 40%. Um, so you want to make sure you stay connected with them and just teach them the things um, that you do, which is making a customer list, contacting them, and making sure they're utilizing their e-store as well. Okay. okay. So I'll call you after this, Linda. We'll make sure you're straight. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop recording.